When you open your Google web browser today, a doodle illustration of Una Marson will greet you. Marson is regarded as one of Jamaica's most influential feminist thinkers. Marson was the first black woman to be employed as a radio producer at the British Broadcasting Company, BBC, where she recorded several significant interviews, including one with the swing band icon Ken Snakehip Johnson back in 1940s. She was also a writer and advocate. Upon establishing the Cosmopolitan in 1928, Marson became Jamaica's first woman magazine publisher and editor. The Cosmopolitan is a publication focused on gender issues and social injustice. Marshall returned home in 1936 to cultivate a new generation of Jamaican writers. While writing her own poetries and plays, which she often self-financed, she founded Jamaica's Save the Children Fund. Google says Marson's literary contributions are not widely known and even less is known about her later life. However, it was her writing and poetry that influenced the broadcasting she was best known for and has broadened her legacy for future generations to discover. The search engines revealed that in 2009, Marson's achievements were celebrated with an installation of a blue plaque, which honours individuals who have great impact on their community and beyond, at her home in London, Brunswick Park. Marson was born on February the 6th, 1905, in the Sharon village near Santa Cruz, Jamaica. She attended Hampton High Boarding School for Girls. In the 1930s, Marson published her first collection of poems entitled Tropic Reverses that dealt with love and nature with elements of feminism. When she arrived in the UK in 1932, Marson found the colour bar restricted her ability to work and she campaigned against it. The racism and sexism she found in the UK transformed both her life and her poetry. The voice in her poetry became more focused on identity of the black woman in England. Marson returned to Jamaica in 1936. In promoting Jamaican literature, Marson published Moth in the Star in 1937. Going along with her feminist principles, Marson worked with Louise Bennett to create another play called London Calling. Marson returned to London in 1938 to continue her work with the project Jamaican Save the Children Fund. In 1941, she was hired by the BBC Empire Service to work on this programme calling the West Indies, in which World War II soldiers would have their messages read on radio to their family, becoming the producer of the programme in 1942. During the same year, Marson turned the programme into Caribbean Voices as a forum in which Caribbean literature work was read over the radio. In 1945, she returned to Jamaica. Details of Marson's personal life after 1945 are very limited, both professionally and personally. She passed away in Jamaica in 1965 on 6th of May, aged 60 years old.